lads, the weeks are flying by. We're back with another gardening video. Now, at the moment here in Ireland, we're having a cold spell at the time of filming. By the time this goes up, hopefully it should be over. But it just means that I'm kind of hesitant to sow too much right now because I want to give the seeds the best chance in life. <laughs> I sound like a parent, but I kind of am. I'm a plant mom, seed mom. Also, can we just look at these for a second? I got them in Dunn's there last week and they're just starting to bloom. They're going to be my bulbs soon. I do have like life happening in the garden and I'm actually going to show you a few of those little things because this week, as I said, because it's cold, I don't want to start things too early and then not have them germinate because you're wasting time. Patience is key when it comes to sowing the seeds. But today I went to home base because I wanted to get a little potting table. So they had one I saw it a few weeks ago and I was like, oh, will I, won't I? And it was only 25 euro and I think I should be able to assemble it. But it's so cute because in my mind, where we have the shed, to the right of it is where I'm going to put a larger plastic greenhouse. So a family friend gave one. Uh, last year at the end of last year so I'm going to attempt to do that in the next couple of weeks and then I'll put the potting table in there because as well it will give me somewhere else to film. A few weeks ago when I was sowing those sweet pea seeds I didn't want to bring everything up to the patio just for that so I ended up having to film on the ground <laughs> around the side of the house so now I'll have a potting table I can do it all up there and then when mom goes to prune stuff and we are uh, deadhead stuff which she does a lot she loves that She's not going to be kind of bent over in her back. She'll have somewhere to put them as well. Um, so it's only 25 euro. But in home base, they had like a really great selection of plastic greenhouses. If you were thinking about getting into gardening. So I started the first year of lockdown with a little tiny one. It was only up to like about there. It's like three little shelves. And I was delighted with life. And I weighed down the sides with bags of gravel. And then last year, I got the one, the bigger one that is sitting on the patio now, which is still there. And like that first greenhouse, I weighed down the two back corners with potting gravel and it didn't budge, like at all. We had some storms, we had some wind, but the only thing is the cover, uh, the, the zip broke on it. So I have ordered a new one. I'm gonna put that on today. Let's hope it fits. <laughs> that one negate if I'm gonna sow any seeds. I think I just might sow like a few. So I just don't have room in my kitchen like our kitchen window sills are only about like that size They're already full of like potatoes that are chitting i'll show you those now in a second just to show if you are chitting this is what mine are looking like as well because in a couple of weeks we're gonna be planting those out actually so yeah so in home base sorry i keep getting distracted so home base had different sizes of plastic greenhouses the majority of us are on a budget and while i would love and it is one of my goals to have a greenhouse like catherine's at the moment, the plastic one does me just grand. I want it for function. Like when you see the greenhouse that's on the patio, the one that I'll have around the side of the house will be full of seeds and plants and everything. Yeah, keep an eye out in your local garden centres, your DIY shops, if you are thinking about getting into gardening and if you don't have room on your windowsills in your house to start uh, seeds. Then I also bought, what else do they have? They had, oh yeah, they, the potato grow bags as well. So you can buy them individually or they had packs of three, I think for 19. And they're durable, so you should be able to use them again. I am gonna use my ones again this year and I have some new ones as well. So yeah, this week, again, it's still in that prep thing so I feel like I'm organized now I or actually I bought my little potting table I bought a couple of bags of um seed starting compost so you can use regular compost if you have it at home it's absolutely fine but I just wanted to have like <laughs> to give my seeds the best chance the best start at life and seed compost is traditionally more kind of finely sieved so there's not kind of big chunks so if you are going to use regular compost just take out any bits of bark any kind of like sticks or twigs or anything that can hinder the little shoots from making their way up to the, up to the surface of the soil so got that i got that and then yes i got two uh kind of more durable trays to start seeds but anyway let me show you the update on the sweet peas and the potatoes these are the sweet peas that i sowed on the 16th so what I did was when I was sewing them was I wrote the name on one side of the little tag and then the date on the other. 
so that we can see. So this windowsill, usually we have the window open in the back and it's not a very warm windowsill, but as you can see, the space is so limited. And these are Mam's potatoes. We're keeping that for, to start other little seeds, but like most of my seeds have germinated. This one, there's nothing happening in that one yet, but all the rest of them have two and I sow two in each one. And then in this one, this little guy is starting to come up like this. It just gives me joy every morning coming down um, and seeing what else is new. So there's still one left to come up in there, but like, oh, and one to come up in there. But I feel like that's good germination. These are the potatoes that are chitting away like a good thing. And these are the type of ones that we're looking for. So just delighted. So we're gonna have potatoes galore this year when we go to plant them out. So I have those ones. I have lots more here as well. Actually, some of these are Catherine's. I'll bring them out to her maybe tomorrow. We're gonna to see each other. So like, that's the type of little, that's the type of shoot that you're looking for. It's really gnarly looking. These are little onions that my neighbor gave me. Thanks, Barbara, I'm gonna plant those. This is a greenhouse cover that I'm going to attempt to install on the greenhouse up there. Like, look how glorious it is. But let me show you some growth outside. Look at these, they're like the epitome of spring. So we have a couple of varieties here, but I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I think these are like the regular tete tetes or as Catherine and I call them, tete -tete -tete's. And then and these ones have the orange centre. Oh, I love them. My little poached eggs that self-seeded are doing great. I'm going to leave these plant pots here just for the time being until the weather uh, warms up a little bit. But this will be, I'm going to move the bulbs from around the side to here. But look, we've got some hyacinths. My, my trailing rosemary is still doing great. I'm going to repot that as well. So yes, I will be moving most of those pots over here. So they join those and we have like a really nice spring display. This is not much happening flower wise here, but look at here. You see in there a little bit. I can't remember what type of tulips they, these are. I have a feeling they're those double-headed ones from last year. I loved those. We've got three things of tulips. Nothing happening in there. And then I don't know what these are. They're beautiful. Look at that. It's so delicate. This container is really taking shape now. I have, look. Look at that. Oh, that just does your heart good. Then in there, there's like a little crocus. I don't know what type of daffodil that is, but it's beautiful. It's got like lots more little petals on the inside. So we have tulips, but I don't know what that big thing is. We've got more tulips. Got more of these daffodil guys. We obviously missed a few of the baby potatoes from this bag. It's too early for them to actually do anything, I think. Um, but that's what the potato bag looks like. The ones that I got last year has this little attachment so you can harvest the potatoes from inside without having to like dig everything up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but you're listening. I think I'm gonna repot or plant these foxgloves. They're looking a little bit worse for wear into the border. I have some there already, but look. Okay, so it's on and it's definitely better quality. Like it definitely feels better quality compared to that. That just feels like really thin and like a perished a good bit, whereas hopefully now this will last another year. I just have to tie in like the corners, but I just wanted to show you. So I get this bag out of the way. So see the bag of pot and grit. So this bar here goes all the way to the corner and then the other bar is there. So I have this pot and grit like on the two sides. So it's like going over that bar in the corner and that bar in the corner so that in the wind it will not budge. I've had some pretty bad rain or wind storms and stuff and it's been fine. So this happened in the last greenhouse that I had that the zip didn't go into that section. So I need to glue that in in some capacity because otherwise the zip will come off. I think that's going to be nice and warm for all the plants. So yeah, see this part in here. 
that was the first greenhouse that I had. So, and it fits perfectly inside that one. And I'm delighted. So today was supposed to be a day for the garden and I was gonna sow some seeds, but the weather had other ideas. It is miserable. It's snowing in a lot of the country as well. Not here though, not here in Dublin. Oh, I don't even remember what's in here. Oh, I'm so glad I came out now, today. 